All right, I'm going to read a few poems. <coughs> this uh, first poem is called the uh, Camara Notre uh, Dame. It's um, a picture, or it's based on a photograph of a, it's like a statue. It's like an imp looking out over Paris. And uh, I put thoughts in his head when it's a cartoon. Serious cartoon. <laughs> um, Perched atop a pinnacle of Western civilization, I overlook humanity, whose face has become obscured by a host of sacred institutions questing for power. Up here, above it all, I listen to man make declarations of independence, of brotherhood, of loyalty, of piety and such. But I also watch over the world, looking at deeds, not words, noticing the transgressions against Christ's teachings, and I see the truth. Conflict abounds. This colossal construction I sit upon, and all that is housed within, is not exempt from the rule of law. Its foundation rests upon the Old Testament, quite at odds with the Savior's teachings. The ancient eye for an eye ethic has persisted through millennia in different garbs. Man has worshipped and soldiered for a cornucopia of beings, including the sun, the moon, and stars. But no god ever ruled so mercilessly or sat on the throne as long as Mars, the god of war. When a time comes to challenge this order, I will get up off my haunches and take flight, preaching the gospel of a democratic creed that ranks human welfare, existing in symbiosis with the earth and other living things, as the highest good, where adherents are free by compassion, not bound by dogma, who challenge orthodoxy and seek to eliminate all systems of domination and who lead by example. But until then, I will bide my time in this gothic dystopia, awaiting the moment when the whole superstructure implodes upon itself. <clears throat> um, this is kind of an evocative poem of the analyzer kind of comes apart. But anyway, uh, it's called Thinking Process. Thoughts float by as fallen leaves flowing down the stream of consciousness, oblivious to their source, bequeathing a wake of persistent emotion upon the banks of shifting shoreline. The constant current carving its signature into the bark of terra firma, one stroke at a time over eons until a lasting impression is formed. Sculptor omitted, process remaining. As the hitchhikers wash ashore, they mingle with kin, some sinking, some swimming up to the surface, alighting upon landfall, basking in sunlight till heaviness escapes from their folds. Brittle fingerprints of firmly rooted forefathers, all that lingers, yet light as a feather with wings, now swirling in ascending spirals until the superlative windsurfer shakes off the pack and ascends into the rarefied heavens. And uh, last one. <clears throat> it's called Connected. Sorrow's shadows won't last past tomorrow's awakening. The sun rising to its zenith at noon like an arrow plucked from Apollo's bow. Ascending at dawn, flaming out as its trajectory descends into evening, moon trading places with sun, midnight with noon. Indifferent to my longings and travails, the universe continues on its trail, leaving me and this puny planet behind, shackled to the irons of entropy, guarantor of the dissolution of us all. What remains is a force to conquer the cosmos, a light that blinds the night, seeing through darkness, bearing witness to reality without bias. 
projecting providence onto a tabula rasa, screened from prejudice and partisanship. See it and be it and watch it become reality, indelibly etched in those like-minded you touch, who reach back when they sense you near, even though you are physically worlds apart, a universal connection between humans shared.